So, Carabao Cup final. Can we do back to backs? Let's find out, shall we? Hello guys and welcome to Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield and yes it's just the one game going to be in today's episode it is the EFL Cup Final sponsored by Carabao and um, yeah here are the two lineups basically going into this one we have got Rodolfo I did say would would, would remain in goal um, because he is um, like the cup goalkeeper for sort of domestic cups and stuff like that so he is in goal Rodolfo is there we've got Cruz Ilyovsky Upamakano and Piano is back from injury so he's going to play we've got Luke Dreyer captain in the side with Deswalski um, along um, sort of like alongside him in mid midfield Ahobi is going to play in the cam Lawrence is going to play out on the left because because Carl Warner is actually suspended for this game, picked up him yellow card in the semi-final, which means that he is not available. Diaz, wow. If you watched last episode, yeah, he's in great form right now, and then Verskogen is going to be up top. Going to be interesting. I think I've got a feeling that this should go in our favour, but it's a cup final and anything can happen. You just don't know. I mean, I could get a sending off, I could get a penalty. Anything could happen. This could go right through to penalties. You just don't know. We are the holders. Can we retain our title? That is the question, and um, let's find out as we head to Wembley. So, early chance here is Cruz puts this one in, and what a great start. We're only like six or seven minutes in, and Upa Meccano is there. Um, he is just lethal from corners, he really is, and that's his eighth goal of the season. Yeah, I mean, he could have had quite a lot more if you've watched so, so many episodes. He's had so many that have like been like chalked off or hit crossbars, all sorts of things. He could have been double figures by now, but Upa Meccano has started things off superbly for us in the cup final. And we go again. As, is it going to be number two? No, it nearly was. It was nearly a carbon copy, wasn't it? Like, you know, he was coming in again, but this time just a little bit over. So now maybe a chance for Tottenham with uh, an audacious kind of throw. That was a weird throw in, that was. But Diaz now, who's been in great form, and woo -woo, he is, like, like I say, he's been in super form the last, like, you know, episode. You, if you watch that, like, you'll you understand where I'm coming from. Oh, well cut out by Charlie Lawrence there. Really read that superbly well. And he's like, Sergio forward and maybe just need to look at and pick out a blue shirt there. Cruz now plays this in. Uber Meccano, oh, he could have had a hat trick. He could have had a hat trick in this first half. It's like I say, he, he could have like been double figures by now. But yeah, we are leading by a goal to nil at half time. I feel that we should be winning by a bigger margin. Um, but we've had like, you know, again, it's this we, we've we sort of like got back into this like situation where we're having a lot of shots but not getting the like shot to ratio like you know whereas we, we I, I kind of felt that we sorted that out but it sounds it's kind of crept its way back in again um but it's not over it's only one nil so jack botland here playing things out from the back um as we try and pressure them but uh, tottenham have managed to work it out as they go down this um left hand side for them Ilyovsky has done well to cut that one out nicely taken down from diaz a great ball through for Skogan now. Can he finish? Oh, that is superb finishing. Lovely calm finish there. Great ball in from Diaz. And like I say, Diaz is just, yeah, he's on fire right now. Ilyovsky does really well here to cut things out. Plays it down the line. Diaz just takes it down superbly. And that's a great weighted ball through and a good finish. Yeah, nicely played past England's number one. Corner ball, Cruz in. Upamakano is there. That's the player to go for. And Diaz now has uh, managed to keep hold of this. He plays it to Ilyovsky. Is Ilyovsky going to play it back to him? He is. Diaz now plays it to Dzwoski. Dzwoski now just getting kind of like caught up there under, with his own player. But wow. Okay. He's gone like... Another goal for him. I mean, he's he got a couple like in the game against uh, Monaco. And um, yeah... What what it was like? I don't know who it was that was like coming across here, but he got in a bit of a tangle there. Managed to like work it out. It sort of bounced around, and then wow, he was just quick enough to to hit it, and that is why he is a world class player. Like, and um, so glad that we've managed to sign him. Played across here from Abbott to Vignato. Vignato back to Abbott now. Tottenham need something to to get themselves back into it, the, and they're not going to get it with a cross like that. It has come to Langley here. And, oh, Charlie's done really well to dispossess him of that one. Plays it down the line. Viscoggin heads it back to Charlie. Great work in between the two late players there. Charlie still goes. Cause is he going to play it back to him? Oh, he's been dispossessed. And now Tottenham can come the other way. But no, Charlie's trying to win that back. Not able to. But it's come to Felipe Cruz. Cruz to Diaz. Diaz now, surely. Yes. Wow. 
There we are. The Carabao Cup is surely ours now. Back-to-back winners. What a superb performance from these lads. Really, confidence is just flowing right now as Cruz and Diaz have just got this great understanding as well. And a nice calm finish by the young Portuguese lad. He's just... He's just he really has took his chance and he's he's grabbed it with both hands, like, you know, with the fact that Baptista's out injured and Baptista must be worrying, like, you know, that he's not going to get his place back. And the way that Diaz is playing, I'm afraid, Baptista, you're not going to get your place back. <laughs> Piano now with the throw in. Dreyer all the way back here to Upa Meccano now, as in time is ticking on for Tottenham. As Deswalski now to Appleby, lays it off. We're nice and calm, just playing it around here on the edge of Tottenham's box here. And we've got no problems whatsoever as um, we play it out here to Piana now. Piana pushing forward. The left back plays it across. And Vaskogan has sealed it completely now. Um, lovely ball in Piana there. Our new light left back signing. Another world-class player that we were able to bring to the club now. And um, yeah, just showing like, you know, how good he is. And just the, the depth of like quality that we've got in this side now is looking really, really good as Viscoggan heads that one into the top corner. So it's going to make some changes. Um, it's really, Ilyovsky is the one that's the, the main one because he's like down to 70% like coming into this one. So we're just going to give Bo Janssen um, a run out. Doesn't get that many games, so we'll, we'll give him a run out. Just trying to look here to see if there's anyone else that, that realistically that we could maybe bring on. I mean, we've got Kina that's just come back from injury. Is it worth bringing him on um, just to, to give him some game time? Not too sure. What I might do is actually bring on um, Neto um, in place of Dysworski just because of that yellow card that's more than anything um, I think that's the reason why I'll make that change Tottenham have been very poor really we're not necessarily poor I think we've just been really good and I think Tottenham are just um, yeah just didn't didn't stand the chance really. I think the the, the toughest like um, games that we've had is probably the Everton one. Like you know what I mean, that was probably our toughest like um, game. Not 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 the second leg, but the first leg. Dre now plays this over the top here as Lawrence just keeps that in, and he's done really well to like get a ball in. Alpha... Wow, how has that gone in? Um, Butland just did not move, but Mark Appleby has just headed. I don't know what is he unsighted or I'm not entirely sure why Butland didn't even move on this one has he just given up maybe <laughs> do you know what I mean but Lawrence here like he does really well and, and to get this ball across and that will be there I think it, uh, I think it's because Vescoggins come in across and I think it's just put him off I think he was thinking that Vescoggins going to head it in the opposite corner and it's just looped straight in and he's not even moved and this has just been it's like the uh, Manchester City Watford's FA Cup final isn't it where they just got absolutely ripped to bits and, and Tottenham are just looking really really poor right now Piano now plays it in chance for Diaz oh if he'd have took it first time that was in but he tried to like just place it and I think if he'd hit it first time it was in and there it is there it is guys back to back winners of the Carabao Cup and um, yeah can we I mean the League Cup's not in the same sort of like stature as like you know other trophies and stuff but it's fantastic to win a trophy and um yeah tottenham just need to hold their heads down in shame i mean they were they were they were just poor weren't they i mean really they really were like and uh, we um have got ourselves another trophy a major trophy this time and it's it's the fact that we are back-to-back -back winners um and we're making this competition like our own kind of similar to what man city in real life do aren't they but man city kind of like like this competition don't they so just to show you the league table really and um, because obviously we've got games in hand and stuff we are actually going to be playing tottenham in our next league game so um <laughs> they're not going to be relishing that at all like and they have as you can see in the league they have like slipped like further down they're like down into 10th right now like i mean obviously they've got a couple of games in hand and stuff but yeah things aren't going particularly well um for tottenham um at the moment and i mean things aren't going very well for crystal palace are they jesus i mean six points is all they've got for the season that is really really poor um but the fact is that and um, we've got a game in hand like i say on liverpool um so we, we should hopefully, fingers crossed, once we play that game in hand and get the win, and we should get ourselves back um, at top of the Premier League. So things are looking good in the Premier League. Things are looking good in the Champions League. It's just looking great at the moment for Chesterfield. We're looking 
really, really good. There we are, guys. Um, thank you very much for, for tuning in. And we've got ourselves another trophy. And let's see. Um, next episode, um, what are we going to be doing? Let's see. Hmm, Champions League game, possibly. Uh, we've got Chelsea in the quarterfinals, but probably won't do that. I'll probably do Leicester... And whoever we get in the Champions League is probably um, what we'll get um, in that episode. But um, tune in and you will find out, guys. But thank you very much. One of those surely is appreciated. We've just won um, a major trophy there, guys. And um, thanks so much for tuning in. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Dave from Moomongo Gaming signing off. Cheers.